Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we are going to be checking out the new changes to the cartel market and we're going to be uh, looking at the new cartel pack so that's going to be the highlight of this video we will open up a ton of hyper crates but firstly here as you guys can see I'm rocking a few new items because they are all now up for direct sale so no need to gamble through the packs you can just go ahead and pick up any item you want. Uh, they're pretty expensive we'll talk about that later but firstly this is the dark honor guards unstable lightsaber with the black and silver color crystal so very nice i enjoy that um i enjoy that weapon a lot this here is the electro blade also platinum rarity unfortunately you can't see the electric effect very well so uh, that's just kind of a downside of this i mean it's a cool effect and all but it's just not very visible the sword itself has a pretty cool design not bad i'm much more excited for this curved vibroblade sword here though this one is really nice and as you guys can see that little um what do you call it? the electricity effect actually changes color with your crystal so in this one i have a red crystal so now it's going to be kind of this dark red color which is really cool uh, I really would have not liked it if it just stayed the standard purple color. So anyways, that's all good and well. Pretty cool weapons. I also have the, the flare sign over there. But we'll go ahead and check out the prices of some of these items if I can get this window to, to open over the other one. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. So everything is up for direct sale except for the cybernetic Varactyl. So for some reason that hasn't been put up. I don't even know if it drops out of the pack. But um, maybe we'll get out of this one. Who knows? But here we go. We have the, um, here, check this out. The Dark Honor Guard's Electro Blade is actually 2,300 cartel coins. So even though it's a platinum item, it's pretty cheap. So whoever did the pricing here on some level recognized that it was not going to be as uh, desirable as the other platinum stuff. So they decided to, to make it a lot cheaper, which is cool and a smart decision. Uh, the Dark Honor Guard's Unstable Saber is 5,500 cartel coins. Incredibly expensive. That's $40 US. So, um... Yeah, I mean, like, that's what's, what it's going to cost you now to, to get it. It's better than gambling with the packs. It would probably cost you a lot more money to gamble with the packs. But um, a lot of the other stuff is actually pretty expensive, though, as well. The crystals are 500 cartel coins, and that's a lot considering the white crystal, which is platinum rarity, incredibly rare and desirable, was 1,000 cartel coins. And this kind of random silver crystal is 500 cartel coins. That doesn't make much sense to me. Another crazy thing is... Um, uh, you know, I'm going to search for the flare here. Okay, that only costs 1,000 cartel coins. For some reason, I thought that was more expensive. The flare is pretty cheap as well. 1,000 isn't bad. But um, I, if you guys missed it, the Force Apprentice armor set was actually 1,100 cartel coins. It's as expensive as the gold weapons. I don't understand that reasoning. I mean, the Force Apprentice armor set should not be that expensive. And one of the downsides of the new changes, which I didn't mention in the last video, was that um, the silver stuff is now going to be a lot more expensive on the GTN. While you would normally see a lot of this silver stuff drop as low as 100 to 200,000 credits, it's now going to be like millions, uh, like not even anywhere near as cheap as it would be if it just dropped out of the cartel pack because the cartel coin price tag on it is so high. So that's one of the downsides. Unless you're willing to shell out you know thousands of cartel coins to get the items you want um you know the downside is you're not going to find affordable prices on the gtn to buy it with credit so you're basically just gonna have to buy it with cartel coins so um we've got that looking at the cartel pack we talked about the changes earlier it's basically three grand chance cubes but a cool little descriptor here that i just noticed is that it says each pack um increases the chances of getting a random platinum item so each pack you open, if you keep opening, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, your chance of getting a platinum item increases as well. And I noticed that that is actually something that was added way back with like the Spoils of War hyper crate. So that's something that's been in the uh, in the packs for a while. I just never noticed it. But in reading the description, I noticed it here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and buy four hyper crates just to see how good that um that RNG is and we're gonna see how many platinum items we can get and also if these packs are just kind of three grand chance cubes each because if they are that's gonna be no good grand chance cubes as we all know have terrible drop rates it just drops a ton of this bronze stuff over and over again it wasn't uncommon for me to open 50 to 100 grand chance cubes and not even get one single gold item that's how bad the RNG was so I'm hoping that's not the case with these packs let's go ahead and open them and it's, I guess it's not, because we've got a gold item right in the first pack. We've got the Technolith Matrix Tuning, and we've got the Elegant Loungewear Armor Set. Uh, don't be fooled by the bronze um, label on that. It actually sells for quite a few million on the GTN. 
So that's not a bad pack um, by any means. Let's go ahead and open the next one here. And we've got uh, two bronze decorations and uh, just a pet. Uh, we got another gold item, uh, the Scorpion TK lightsaber. Uh, it's not a good gold item. I mean, it, it's just not. <laughs> you know, you, you might get a gold item or, you know, a platinum item from these packs, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's, it's a good drop. Bioware has been known to kind of mess with that, or at least that's my conspiracy theory. But just crap here. Um, let's go ahead and keep looking. Ooh, we got a platinum item. Fortitude. That I, just as I was saying that, uh, Fortitude. You know, it's got it's got the platinum price tag on it, but it doesn't sell for much on the GTN. I know that from personal experience. It gets put up for insane prices, but it doesn't actually sell. So um, it's platinum, but not the greatest thing. Rot worn practice jersey. Once again, it's gold, but it's not good. Now ah, this is a decent drop. The Series 79 armor set. Uh, this is actually. Um, Kind of one that you can't get out of cartel packs and it sells for quite a few million on the gtn so that's good it's funny how some of these silver chops are better than the gold and platinum ones but for any of you wondering what fortitude is it's like grit or valor it's like these weapons that are exclusive to some vendors from the cartel bazaar and um and since you can't get them out of cartel packs for some reason they have a platinum rarity on it and uh I would much prefer if Bioware in these packs just gave us like the actual platinum items, so, like you know, Vented Saber, Unstable Peacemaker Saber, that good stuff. I mean, if you're lucky enough to get a platinum item, it should be at least be good. Here we've got a Visas Mars armor set. Ex excuse me if I'm kind of skipping over the other crap. Like I don't want to keep talking about it. It's just going to be emotes or decoration, this or that. I want to focus on if we get a good thing. Uh, the, the, for example, this Groove emote. That's pretty decent. That's an emote that's going to sell for quite a lot. Hey, we got a double gold. Uh, both of them are decorations, uh, not bad, nice decorations. Crap, 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 crap. I realize we actually have four hyper crates to open, so I'm going to try to go through these a little bit quicker. Qu once again, ignoring all the other stuff and focusing just on if we get a good drop. And as you guys notice, these are all old items, so uh, none of the new stuff has come out. Well, that is a good drop. The MSM jetpack. That is a great drop. That is um that's the one with the flourish too, so it sells for more. You know, I've got to admit, I've gotten a lot of gold so far. I've I've lost count. Um oh, that's a good drop as well. See, sometimes you get this silver stuff and um it, it actually sells for like millions. Like a lot a lot of this old silver stuff that hasn't been introduced um for a while is actually uh, goes up for high prices on the GTN and actually sells for those prices because there are a few people out there who want to collect them so you can get lucky with these packs let's just say that and as I was saying the gold items it's fun to get them from this pack because it could be anything is this oh my gosh three gold items in one pack wow that's uh that's pretty lucky um yeah but they're not the best gold items I and mean, we've got a, a deep pink dye module and a gold decoration another gold item okay Another gold decoration, okay. Yeah, I've totally lost count of how many golds that is, but that is a lot. These definitely have good RNG, not like Grand Chance Cube, so. There we go, another stylish dancer armor set. That's going to sell for a lot. A fearsome rage toy, okay. And uh, another gold, um, the Satil Shans armor set. Wow, what a way to end uh, a Hyper Crate opening. That is pretty crazy. Well, that wasn't bad, guys. Those were a lot of gold items. Uh, definitely not as bad as Grand Chance Cubes. Interestingly enough, they actually removed the Grand Chance Cubes from the cartel market. It, it wouldn't make much sense to keep them, especially with these new packs. It's a lot more profitable to open packs than, uh, than Grand Chance Cubes. There we go. The first pack again drops us a gold item. A lot of gold decorations, though. Oh, there we go. Our first new item, the flare, sign of prosperity. Um, so there we go. We got. It took about a hyper crate, but we got a new item at least. Ah, it's unfortunate. I already bought the flare though. But whatever, we can sell it on the GTI. Darth Malik's armor set. That is not a shabby drop either. That that's pretty good. The expert fighter. Yeah, that's a good drop. Another gold item, we got the Cartel Decadence Gift. See, this is what I'm talking about. Getting a gold item from this pack is actually exciting because it's, it's pro you know, 
it could be something bad, but it could be something really, really good. Like I'm talking like like Revan's armor set good or, or something like that. You could get really lucky because it's anything from the cartel market, you know? And I've gotten a lot of crappy stuff as well, uh, like the Rotworm jersey and, and, and some of the other stuff, but like you could also get really lucky. So it's a gamble and that's part of the fun. That's part of the fun. The ventilated scalene. See, and some of the bronze and silver stuff you get is actually really old and, and it's going to sell for a lot. Or it's just really nice to collect. Uh, so for anyone who hasn't really spent a lot of time playing the game and hasn't collected a lot of the old stuff, it's not a bad opportunity to, um, to collect some stuff. It's going to be interesting to see what this actually sells for on the GTN. I'm assuming, I'm assuming people are going to put it up for high prices. All right, we got another gold. Ugh, the dynamic Paladin's armor set. Nah, that's not that's not that good of a drop. It does seem a little skewed. It seems like a lot of the golds we get, like this one, the green efficiency scanner. It seems like a lot of the golds are are, are the bad gold stuff. But sometimes you get lucky. I got the Satyo Shan's armor set. Can't complain with when you get drops like that. Cave Veronicus, that's a good drop. Ah, the Ridge Hunter Ranker. There we go. That is an awesome drop. Yep. And keep in mind, guys, it's 5,400 cartel coins for 30 packs. That is not a shabby deal. I mean, at least it brought the Hyper Crates back up to 30, and um, it, it costs less. Normally, a Hyper Crate costs 5,800 cartel coins for uh, 26 packs. So... How many packs? We've got two more packs left. Ah, uh, the Vengeance Unsealed. Yep, nice stuff to collect for anyone who doesn't have it. Alright, not bad. Not as many golds in the second Hyper Crate, but still a ton of gold items. And we got some nice gold stuff too, especially that Rancor. That was a good drop. Alright, two more Hyper Crates. Let's keep going. Let's see if, uh, if the luck holds up, if, um, if the RNG really has improved that much. If it has, these aren't bad packs to open. I mean, they're still very costly, but they're not terrible packs to open at all. There's still a lot of fun to open. You can still get some really good stuff. It's still profitable if you want to sell it on the GTN. I'm not displeased. Let's put let's put it that way. This is a good drop as well. The Primeval Stalker. Uh, the upper body armor for that one sells for a ton. All right, nothing too great there. Yeah, so as I was saying, I'd be, I'd be excited to see what these sell for on the GTN. I mean, if you can get a Hyper Crate for like 30 to 40 million, if you have those many credits to spend, um, it's not, not a bad deal. You could probably flip it for a profit if you got um, decently lucky with the pack opening. Uh, another gold, come on. Ugh, the personal war bot. Thana Vesh, that is a popular armor set as well. The funny thing is, I'm getting all this good stuff, but the GTN is going to take a hit. It, oh, the Tactical Infantry, that's a really good bronze one, yeah. Uh, the GTN is going to take a hit, guys, because like so many direct sales are coming in the near future, and um, and like everything's going to be available on the cartel market in a few weeks. So, um, yeah, I mean, the GTN, just look for it, get some good deals. It would not be an ideal time to sell. It would be best to stock up items. For, for good prices and try to wait sometime in the future. Hopefully you can find a, a kind of a good period of time to start selling your items again. But um, but selling it in the next few weeks is not going to be the best thing because it's all going to be up for direct sale. And I'm assuming prices are going to take a plummet. A lot of people are going to be excited to, to try to get something good. Okay, we got another platinum, but it's this stupid Vectron Zephyr. Ugh. These aren't actual platinum items, guys. These are like old items that Bioware changed from a different rarity to platinum. So I don't really treat them as platinum items. I, I wish Bioware just like kept the other platinum items in there because um, like the stuff people actually want, like the Kylo Ren saber and the Unstable Arbiter saber and that stuff. Why why include all the other stuff? I mean, if you're lucky enough to get a platinum, it should be a good platinum. That's my logic. A double gold, and we got uh, 
Ugh, neither of these are too good. Concealed bodysuit is okay, I guess, but the Kalo Nord, that's like worth a million or two million credits at most. Nothing too- oh, the Quakian Monkey Lizard's not bad either. I gotta say, credit-wise, guys, credit-wise, um, a lot of the silver stuff, it all adds up. It all adds up. You can probably make quite a few credits uh, flipping these uh, crates if you buy them for credits off the GTN. Like, buy them for 30, 40 million, you could probably make more. Um, I would maybe test out that hypothesis first before, before putting all your credits into it. Another gold item right off the bat. I think all four hyper crates in a row dropped a gold item right from the first pack. But that one was the Grig now. That's like worth about a million right now on the GTN. Another double gold, and we got uh, two gold decorations, which uh, both of these sell for a lot on the GTN. This is a cool knight statue. It's a really good looking one. All right, we got a gold. The Republic ATV. Which does that come out of? The Spoils of War pack? Okay. Probably not worth too much. It's a pretty recent pack. The Derelict Lightsaber. That's a good one. A lot of nice stuff to collect, even if you just don't want to sell everything on the GTN. Nathmus has spawns okay. Worth about 3, 4 mil. The Flare Sign of Carnage. Not bad. I'd rather get flares and mounts than, uh, than some of the other stuff. A lot of gold decorations. Worth it though, worth it. I mean, sure, I'm getting a lot of kind of, you could call them crappy gold items just based off their value on the GTN. But I mean, I'm also getting just a ton of gold items in general and a lot of them are pretty good. Um, and this is four packs and all four packs or all four hyper crates already have had some pretty decent RNG, both with regards to getting gold items, but also getting decent silver items. I mean, it's not like all the silver or bronze items have been crap. A lot of the bronze decorations will sell for a very decent amount if you don't want to collect them. And if you want to collect them, then, then go ahead and do so because they cost a lot on the GTN. I mean, it all adds up. You're buying a, a decoration for 300,000 credits here and then buying another one there, it adds up to quite a few credits. Another double gold and we got the... Oh, that's a good one, I think. The Dorn Blaster is a good one. Ugh, the Cherka Corporate Shirt's a bad one, though. Ah, the Mandalorian Tracker, that's a good one. And the cool thing about this is drops full armor sets. I mean, nothing really beats just having a full armor set given to you, whether it's gold, silver, or bronze. I mean, you want to use it, you got it unlocked for your collections, you want to sell it, it's going to sell for a lot. Even the bronze armor sets will sell for at least 200, 300,000 credits. Esni Fanatics armor set, that's a good one. Oh, the Corellian Counselor, I believe that one will sell for a lot. So will the Fancy Reveler. Wow, good drops. Oh, I thought that was the white for a second. Ugh, the white gray is good too, though. Just the white is a little bit better, but hey. Another platinum, man. There we go. At least it's something good. The Defiant Vented Dual Saber is probably, one, once again, one of the least popular platinums, but at least it's a new platinum item and not like some, some random platinum one from like back in the day. I think that's three platinum items. That's not bad. Four hyper crates and three platinum items. That is not bad at all. Much better than, than what's been in the past. So we'll go ahead and do a quick head count and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. Uh, I got 45 gold items. So four hyper crates, 45 gold items. That's on average one gold item for every 2.5 hyper crates. I mean, sorry, for every 2.5 packs or two gold items for every five packs. I think that, that also means 12 gold items for every 30 packs. So 12 gold items per hyper crate on average. That is not bad. Sure, a lot of the gold items weren't too great, but a number of them were. And your chance of getting kind of one of the really old gold items worth millions of credits is pretty high because, you know, you never know. You can get some of the good stuff. I got Satil Sean's armor set, the Rancor, the Primeval Stalker. Those are all really good uh, gold armor sets. So I guess my consensus on the new packs is they're Grand Chance Cubes on steroids. They're, they have better RNG. Each pack gives you like three Grand Chance Cubes. Um, and you also have a chance at getting some really decent silver and bronze items, whether you're using them for your own collection or whether you're going to sell them on the GTN. 
So with regards to value, it's not bad. I don't think packs by any means have been ruined. They're still very fun to open and you can still get a ton of really cool items. Uh, just remember that um, don't be buying packs for a specific item. It's very random. You never know what you're going to get. You could uh, open a pack and get like, I don't know, a whole ton of really shitty gold stuff. Or you could get some really amazing gold stuff. It's all incredibly random and it's meant to be, I guess, have fun with it. I went in with no expectations and I came out pretty pleased, especially with regards to how many good items I got. And it's all very high value. So not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. If you do decide to do a pack opening, I hope you guys enjoy. But if not, just enjoy the new direct sales because now you don't have to gamble anymore. You just got some really good stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.